Hello everyone, I'm John Gallion. I'm one of the assistant golf professionals here at the club and I'm joined today by Troy Gross, our fitness trainer. I've asked Troy to join me today to basically go over a few things uh, that you can do prior to your play. Uh, when you don't have time to hit balls, loosen up properly. Uh, some things that Troy will go over, just ranges of motion things that will help us uh, to, to play better and be loosened up. Troy? Thank you, John. Of course, we always want to go through a full range of mobility and flexibility drills before we hit the course or the range. If we don't have the time to do that, however, there are a few key components that we want to make sure that we dynamically stretch. Um, the very first thing we want to talk about is our ankles. If you are on the range of the course, you can always grab a golf club out of your, out of your bag. We want to get 15 rotations with just the feet turning the toes. Don't use your lower limb, and that's 15 clockwise and counterclockwise. Both feet getting the same amount of repetitions. But the next thing we want to worry about is our shoulders, thoracic back. The best thing to do is start with a simple pseudo karate hold like this. Take the middle fingers, place them on top of the shoulders. Let's keep our chin up and pull our shoulder blades back. This will get, get us in good posture. 15 to 20 forward and 15 to 20 of those backwards. But the next thing we want to warm up is our hips and our lower back. A good way to do that is with a deep overhead squat. We'll grab the club from end to end, get a good shoulder width alignment, and we're going to go down into a squat and take the club up over our head. But if you have any problems with mobility or stability through any of these drills, you can always use the golf cart. Again, we can hold on to the cart handle here, getting our rotations with the ankles and our deep squats. Good. Another good exercise to do is for our posterior chain, hamstrings, calves. We'll go back to the same hold. Again, shoulder width alignment. We're going to keep the knees somewhat locked. They can be flexed a little. We're going to go down and bend as far as we can, stretching the hamstrings, come back up and through, and we're going to do a rotation. Each time that we stretch to the hamstring, we're going to come back up and rotate the opposite side. We'll work through about 15 to 20 of those repetitions as well. The last exercise we'd like to do is get you down into your golf position and really warm up the, the trunk and the hip flexors. At this point, we'll get you into your position. You hold the golf club the same way. And then we're going to get some good rotations. Again, about 15 to 20 repetitions of that exercise as well. John? Troy, thank you for your time. Absolutely. As you can see, it's very important to make sure that we get stretched properly and loosen up prior to play. Number one, to keep from having injuries and to prolong our golf. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us here at the golf shop or contact Troy here at the club. Thank you.